All right, welcome back. Our adventures in chemistry continue. Um, next, we're going to do a reaction with zinc acetate. And zinc acetate looks like this. It's a clear liquid, you can see in the pipette. So I'm going to put my zinc acetate here in the test tube. And the other substance that we're going to use is sodium phosphate. And sodium phosphate is also a clear liquid. It looks like that. Can't even tell the difference because they're both clear. But something really cool is about to happen when I mix these two things together. Check it out. So when I combine them, instead of getting a clear liquid, it turns cloudy and white. Now, if I let this sit for a little while, something really cool happens. Hmm. It actually turns into this. And what's happened here is that this white substance is settled into the bottom of the test tube, and then the top of it is, is the clear liquid. Now this, this white substance uh, is a solid, so anytime I get a solid product from a reaction, a double displacement reaction, that's going to be a precipitate. And I know that it's a precipitate because I let it dry, I filtered it, and I, I let it dry, here's my filtering apparatus, and I let it dry overnight, and inside of my filter, that white stuff got caught and it's actually sort of a powdery white substance. It looks, looks kind of like, like that. So that tells me that I formed a precipitate in this reaction. And the formation of a precipitate is a really good indicator. It's also a good hint that this reaction was a, was a double displacement. So in your indicators, make sure you mention that we change color because it changed from clear liquids to white. And we also formed a precipitate. We're going to look at another precipitate in the next reaction, and that will be lead nitrate and potassium iodide, so stay tuned.